Two guys, four hands, and Stick To It Outdoors presents Bayfields Bring It to the Table. Well, I would like to thank you very much, Jerry, for that great intro, and welcome everyone back this week to Bring It to the Table. Very, very cool guest this week. But I want to say hello to my good friend, Junior. How are you, buddy? Doing great, man. Great to be back. Busy again, moving around a lot, liking this. Yeah, this is really, really neat. Tonight we're talking to a gentleman who brings so much to our community. If you are local and you know anything about Bayfield and Durango, this is a staple in our community. Bryant Leggett with KDUR Radio tonight is going to talk to us. But before we get with him, let's take a look at the shelves. Always starting off with the shelves over here. Want to take a peek, you'll see a lot of the talent. And as you look at that, remember, a lot of the stuff that's been coming to the table are services that are rendered by local people bringing great things to the community, bringing us together, making things happen. Tonight, no exception, Bryant, KBUR Radio with the college and the community, welcome to the table. Gentlemen, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Bryant. Let's talk about KBUR for a second. Okay, uh, before we get going, I would like to say that KBUR offers you the musical soundtrack to the community. Do you like Camper Van Beethoven? I love Camper Van Beethoven. How about Conway Twig? Uh, of yeah. course we like Conway Twig. You can hear both types of music <laughs> on KUR. So KUR has been the radio station at Fort Lewis College for, my gosh, 37 years now. Wow, congrats. So there when I was there. Starting uh, in like 1975, operating just on a PA system through the student union that. building. Yeah, I wasn't there. Really <laughs> uh, Moving up to 10 watts in the late 70s and into the 80s, 150 watts uh, into the 90s. Then when I became the station manager, which was five years ago, we jumped to 6,000 watts. Nice. Man. Um, broadcasting on the internet as well. Now here we are in, in I'm glad to be in the Bay Area. Thank you very much for coming. The real Bay Area. <laughs> Glad to be in the Bay Area. Now, sometimes on a good day, you'll get 93.9 out here, which is our translator. You can also listen to KDUR on the internet and via your smartphone, which at times wow. is a better signal out here. Reaching yes. the technology, I like yes. to see yeah. it. Your, I, band. your iPhone, uh, you know, your BlackBerry or whatever through the TuneIn radio app. So we have been the uh, we've been the college radio station for 35 years, not only offering stuff. Uh, as an educational facility for students that will get credit for being a DJ, learning how to work electronic equipment, learning how to use automation software and editing equipment, uh, but also just doing a regular show. But any community member can come and be on KDUR as well. Yeah. There's numerous DJs right now that live in the Bayfield area that commute once a week to come up to play new music, shovels and rope, maybe some cheap trick. Perhaps the great old days. Excellent. Yes. Uh, so it's but not to not to get this. But I want to get this straight. It's, we're broadcasting from the college. Yeah. This is a community radio station where anyone is welcome, not just affiliated with the college. You broadcast to everybody, and everybody in the community is welcome to come and to your show. Everybody shows. in the community is welcome to come up and either apply to do a radio show. Or let's just say you have an interest in. Okay, I want to see how a music department in a radio station works. How does a radio station get music from a record label or a promotion company? You yeah. can come up and do time in the music office. It's learning as well. It's 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 education all the time. Uh, you want to come up and you want to come up and learn about classical music. Sit in with our classical music DJ. Our classical music DJ is 81 years old. And he has a Grammy. The <laughs> Sunday morning. Wow, that's that a big deal. Our youngest DJ yes. right now is 17 years old. Our oldest DJ is 81 years old. I think the youngest DJ. Uh, is not playing Justin Bieber right now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they're playing Camper Van Beethoven and Comic uh, So it's a nonstop educational experience up there. And even if you if you don't think that you want to sit down behind the console because that's intimidating. Oh, I got to sit down behind the console. I got to talk into the microphone. Very it's scary sometimes. Super scary. Yeah, People is. get scared to death. But you want to come up and watch somebody do a radio show? You know, it, it's a hands-on thing, and it's the training stuff that we do for you to learn how to be a DJ. It's not quite as intimidating as driver's ed because you can drive the car if you want to, but you don't have to drive the car, right? Right. You can you can just watch and and hang out and and kind of look. you you can you can experience KDR at the level that you are comfortable experiencing it with. 
And it is pretty comfortable radio. It it's, really is. It's super it comfortable. It's really radio. comfortable radio. And the, the great thing, I mean, there's many great things about KDR. I, I want to think about us giving a nod to not only local nonprofits, local organizations, local businesses Definitely. that purchase underwriting, but let's say a local nonprofit is hosting a golf tournament. Or something like that, okay. and they want to get the word out. We will, we will publicize that for you, you know, for free through public service. Fantastic. So it's a great and, deal. And one of the, the the crazy things about KDR is, and like any business, uh, is a financial thing. You know, and, sure. and we're lucky that that we get money from Fort Lewis College. We get money College. from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and we get money from lots of great people in this community, Durango and Bayfield alike. That that. You know, during two membership drives a year. Oh, here's 20 bucks for my. I've listened to KUR for the last year every single day. Here's 20 bucks. It's cheaper than cable. What a great opportunity for the community. I mean, having those fundings really just gives you an opportunity that so many radio stations can't do. You get to come in, you get to see it from the level, you get to watch, you get to learn, yeah. you get to share. Yeah. That's what the college radio is about. That's what KUR is about. Brian, I can't tell you how awesome what you're bringing to the table is. This is pretty great. I, I mean, what do you think about the, the community doing this? I think every day when I turn on the radio station, obviously I'm going to KDUR and I'm picking up what they have going. I'm hearing different shows that they have, which is kind of neat because they do three hour blocks or four hour blocks. Hey, it's two to three hour two blocks, hour yeah. Blocks. So you're going to get a different change every time you hear the radio. Brian, phenomenal work down there. Really appreciate you coming to the table this week. This I really great information. I really appreciate you guys having me. And uh, you know, like I say, the KDUR is, is a reflection of our very diverse community. You know, I think your program here as well, this is this could be the, the video version of <laughs> awesome. That's, you know, what a comment. Providing what insight a compliment and providing insight us. and and you are providing kind of like the, the video soundtrack to the great diverse people of our community. And so you all are doing a great service as well. Thank you so much for Excellent. Brian, really bringing it to the table. Thank you. Good friend. job.